All right, uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is, I've always wanted to have this be kind of like a, a rest area in the garage. So uh, I wanna put a chair there. So I'm gonna turn the old shoe rack into a nice comfortable chair that when I'm working on the Camaro and my knees are blown out or whatever, then I can just kind of chill out there. I'm going to join a little kind of side table thing to it as well. Um, and then obviously have a hole or something like that in it to uh, put a beverage or something like that. And uh, so that's what I'm gonna do right here. Okay, there is the chair, or the seat portion. About, I don't know, 20, 25 inches of this will be the actual chair, and then the rest of it is going to be the uh, tabletop. Okay, so the frame is more or less done for the seat and table portion. Now I just need to make the legs and then the back. I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to do that yet. Um, I could just do the straight legs on all four corners here. But uh, I don't think I'm going to do that this time actually. I think I want this thing to sort of 
tilt up almost like the Adirondack chair. I think that's what I'm going to try to do. I forgot that I had these panels of oak. I've actually got four of them. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to run them through the table saw and, and thin them out. But it'd be perfect for this project. Originally I had purchased it for something else. I can't remember what. About a year ago or so. And I just forgot that I had it. But I'm going to go ahead and use the oak as the seat and as well as the the back portion when I get once I get to that uh, perfect all right so the length is perfect now I just need to cut it into three inch increments Alright, so I'm going to do the legs next. I'm just taking a guess. This, uh, this piece of 2x4 here is about 37 and a half inches long. That's way too big. So I want the armrest to be right about there. But that's way too long, so I'm going to cut it about 25 inches just to see what that does. So the back back legs will be 25 inches back to chest, and then the uh, front legs will be about 30, 30, yeah, 28 to 30 inches. All right, so I went ahead and finished all four legs. I decided to keep all four the same length. I was going to have the two front longer than the back, so that you can kind of lean back. But this is leaning back enough as it is so that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for today okay I got the brace put in and I put three inch screws on both sides instead of the two and a halfers that uh, I re originally replaced them with so that's good I had to cut a new brace um, whatever long story anyway now it's just to put these legs back on and then I can go ahead and start dressing it up and it'll look like a chair. Alright, it is fixed. It looks fantastic. It's structurally strong. Um, and now all I need to do is put the bottom thingies, holder uppers, on there. And then uh, should be good enough to stand on after that. All right, here's the final product. This goes to show what you can do with a bunch of scrap wood. I'm not going to put the uh, any more bars across there because honestly, it's ow. Honestly, it's uh, a lot. It's comfortable the way it is, believe it or not. So I'm going to leave it like that. At some point I may fill that in, put, leave that like a little shelf or something like that. Put my restoration publications or something. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It's good.